G'day guys, how's it going? This is broadcasting because, well, it's official. Ashes Cricket 2013, the game that was nothing short of an absolute disaster from start to finish, has now been cancelled. The Facebook page has been deleted, the Twitter account discontinued, the game removed from Steam, and all but a few examples of laughable gameplay left to prove that it once promised so much. A couple of months ago now, I covered what I hoped would be the beginning of a cricket game rivalry between 5 or 5 Games slash Trickstar and Big Ant Studios. But since then, the format has been left in the latter's dust at every possible turn. It started with Ashes Cricket's delay, then a fragmentation of the game's release, then another delay, followed by a suspension of release entirely, before a final backdoor release on Steam with basically zero publicity, and then eventually, nothing. Nothing at all. Unfortunately, I feel that the collapse of Ashes Cricket may just signal the end for Trickstar in the cricket game department. I hope and I encourage them to get back on the horse and give it another go, but... I think they need to lower their expectations and definitely lower the hype that might surround their next game. I should clarify that I didn't buy or play the now defunct game because, well, frankly, I didn't get a chance. The game was off Steam before I could even get around to creating an account. The game is dead. The war won before even the first bullet could be shot. But I didn't make this video just to kick Trickstar while they're down. The game's failure speaks all that is needed. and. My honest commiserations go out to the entire team for failing to meet their deadlines and creating a game that in the end they just weren't happy with. It happens. However, with that said, this now opens some very interesting opportunities for both Don Bradman Cricket and potential other cricket games. The licenses for the Australian and English cricket teams did belong solely to Trickstar to use in their games, but as the game is no more, those licenses are now vacant. So a bit about licenses. To put it simply, a license is pretty much like a thumbs up from an officially trademarked company, such as a sporting body, to allow a gaming company to reproduce their official logos, player names and the like. These licenses are expensive and without them game companies are restricted to making caricatures of these same components. Hence all the fake names and plain outfits of the non-licensed teams in many different sports titles. Aside from the early EA games, more recent cricket titles have been devoid of any decent licensing, a large part of that due to the financial demands. A large part of Ashes Cricket's collapse, I believe, was due to the fact that they spent so much of their budget on purchasing the licenses that they just couldn't get the gameplay up to scratch with the remaining money that they had. These licenses aren't cheap, and I for one am a big supporter of companies like Big Ant focusing on gameplay over these big licenses, and instead including extensive customization options to allow for play to bend these rules without quite breaking them. Currently, the only official license held by Big Ant is that of Cricket Russia. This may seem a bit random, but by trading off a small price for that added authenticity, Big Ant have brought both a legitimacy to their game, as well as aided with the growth of Cricket in a country where the game is still very young. If the game goes well, which I hope it does, this will serve as a big tap on the shoulder to the other, potentially larger, cricketing bodies that Big Ant are able to balance game development with the weight of licensing to produce produce a great result. So the question has to be asked, what's next? Particularly, what's next for us, the consumers? Well, Big Ant is still keeping the cards close to the chest regarding a release date for Don Bradman Cricket, so until then, all we can do is... wait. Big Ant have learnt from Trickstar's mistakes of showing their hand too early, so you can be sure that when you pick up your copy off the shelf of Don Bradman Cricket, that it will be in the best shape that it could possibly be. I strongly encourage you not to put too much pressure on Big Ant to come up with a release date or to push the game out before it's ready because that never really ends well. Now guys, just before we wrap this video up, I want to touch on something very quickly that is annoying and I don't want to spend too much time on it, but reposted videos. Over the last couple of days I've found out that uh, a couple of my bigger videos, particularly the Don Bradman ones, have been downloaded by someone else and re-uploaded on another channel. If you see a video with my voice on it or with any of this sort of stuff, if you see it with the logos at the end or if you, if you know that it's a video I've made and you see it on another channel, it's not mine and it doesn't have my permission to be there. I hate to say stuff like this because I know it's a public forum and it's YouTube and this sort of stuff happens all the time. I don't like it but there's really not much I can do about it. I mean, companies like Big Ant, or like EA Sports, or like Trickstar, or whoever, are nice enough and are kind enough to allow 
people like me to use their images or to use gameplay footage or to use that sort of stuff to ruin with my nasally voice. It's just a kick in the guts to have someone else download your video, re-upload it as their own, without giving you credit or permission or getting permission from you. It's annoying because I was looking through YouTube the other day and some of the highest ranking videos in terms of views for Don Bradman Cricket were mine, but they'd been reposted on another channel. The most I can do really is put this message on it and say that if you see this video on another channel that doesn't say broadcast and because below the video, then it's been downloaded, re-uploaded, and I encourage you to let me know. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hate to end on a sour note like that, but you know what, bugger it, we're going to end it like this. Guys, look forward to Don Bradman Cricket. Unfortunately, rest in peace to Ashes Cricket 2013. It was a good shot by 505 and Trickstar, but unfortunately they couldn't live up to the mark this time around. Long live BA Cricket. Looking forward to the release, and you'll be hearing more from me when that release date becomes public. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to mash that like button and hit that subscriber button if you would like to see more. Subscribing to me is like giving me a virtual high five and everyone loves high fives thanks very much for watching guys cheers and stay tuned